All right, so we are here with uh, Ken Bowersox of uh, SpaceX. How are you doing today? Doing great. Good, it's good. great to be here. Thank you. Um, so I understand that uh, you were originally a, a shuttle astronaut. Yes. When uh, did you first uh, um, start working with NASA? I joined NASA in 1987 um, with the, gosh, I think we were the, the 12th group of astronauts to come in. Um, and uh, it was a great group of folks, uh, went through training with them and then uh, spent a few years working in ground support jobs at NASA before I finally got assigned to my first flight. What was your first flight? Um, STS-50, that was the first United States microgravity lab, so it was a space lab mission. We went up for a, a little bit less than 14 days, um, did science experiments, and then came back home. It was really a great first flight. <laughs> a good bunch of folks. Now, um, throughout your time um, as a shuttle astronaut, um, uh, you had the experience of uh, being the American astronaut on, in the International Space Station when the Columbia disaster occurred. Yeah, I was one. I mean, Don Pettit was up there with me too, and then Nikolai Budarn was our Russian colleague who was there at the same time. What kind of effect did that have on you in orbit? Um, well, I mean, it, the, the people that were on that mission, um, we knew from training on the ground, we'd worked with them, um, and, and so, I mean, the personal loss was, was one effect, I mean, and, and you go through grieving from, from that. Even, even though we hadn't talked with them in quite a while and hadn't been able to spend much time with them, the fact that, that they were um, close to us at, at, at some point um, it made it hard on a personal level. And then on a professional level, we knew that that was going to have a, a, a very um, difficult to quantify effect on our space exploration program. And so that was uh, something that we needed to process as well. Uh, did you have any uh, trouble adjusting when you returned to Earth due to the extra time that you had to spend on the station? Nah, we loved every minute on the space station. And, and, the, and the adaptation when you come back, um, you know, you can cause it, call it trouble, right? I mean, or you can call it, you know, some sort of a malady, but it's really kind of an adventure too. I mean, it's an adventure going into space, adapting to space, and it's an adventure when you come back and readapt to Earth. It, it, it's all a, I thought it was all a positive experience, even though there's some, some aching that you go through and, you know, some muscle pain, a little bit of dizziness, things like that. It's, it's, it's kind of neat to, to, to monitor it and, and, and watch it go away as you readapt to Earth. So uh, what were some of the, the highlights of uh, your career at NASA? Oh gosh, I, I had so much um, in the way of positive experiences at NASA. It's hard to quantify everything, but um, I, I had some great missions. All, all the space missions were fantastic. And STS-50, STS-61, 73, 82, 113, where uh, we got dropped off at the space station. All those were great. And the space station mission was great. Um, I got to participate in two Hubble Space Telescope flights and a couple of science lab flights. Uh, and then uh, kind of capping it all off was coming back from the International Space Station in uh, a Soyuz spacecraft, um, making the entry uh, in that. And then we, the Russians uh, hadn't had a ballistic entry of a Soyuz spacecraft in a long time. Um, and we ended up having a ballistic entry, uh, which put us about 300 miles away from the normal landing zone. So it took a while for the rescue forces to get there. Uh, and, and we had four or five hours to wait for the helicopters to show up to, to take us back to the medical facilities uh, back in Star City. And it was a wonderful five hours, just peaceful, quiet. We were back on Earth. And, and here we are in the middle of the, the steppe of, of Kazakhstan, and, and we felt like we were home <laughs> because we were back on our planet, uh, all three of us. Uh, you know, Nikolai, Don, and I, we were all just happy to be there, enjoying the, the peace and quiet. That was, that was probably a, one of the bigger highlights for me. That's awesome. That's great. So uh, when was it that you first got interested in space? Were you interested always as, as, since a child, or, or what can you tell me about that? Yeah, um, I, I became interested in flying in space when I was about six. John uh, Glenn was orbiting the Earth, and I was driving around with my father in the family car and listening to the radio, and we heard a news reporter talking about um, this guy who's orbiting the Earth, and I said, Dad, what is, what is orbiting the Earth? What's that mean? And my dad explained it to me, and I thought, man, that sounds 
fun. I want to do that. And and so at that point, I I, I kind of oriented myself towards becoming an astronaut. Now I was al- always understood that that might not happen, so I had other backup plans. And, but um, that's what I wanted to do: was fly in space from from about the time I was six. Wow. Now, uh, nowadays you work at SpaceX. Yeah. When, when did you first start working for them? Um, I joined SpaceX uh, about two years and four months ago. And uh, for those who don't know, uh, what is it that you do there? Um, I'm the Vice President for Astronaut Safety and Mission Assurance, which um, I, I, there's kind of two parts to my job. One part is doing the classical safety and mission assurance work that helps um, ensure the success of missions. Um, and then the other part is um, anything that has something to do with flying astronauts, then I get to participate in that, which I enjoy too.